Hey, hello, YouTubers. If you're like me and you've thought about buying a backup battery system for your home or a backup generator, uh, that's what I ended up doing, and that's what I'm going to talk about, how and why I bought it and what I bought. So first thing is justifying this kind of expense. Why do we need to buy a backup generator? Well, we've had several power outages over the years. It's, it's always a little bit of an inconvenience, not that big a deal, but, you know, you kind of wish you could flip the lights on. Well, when Helene hit and we were out, not for a few hours, but a few days, actually about 10 days, I thought enough is enough. I need to get a backup system. So what to buy? Well, I considered gasoline. Well, actually I didn't. That was the first thing I eliminated because I don't want to have like a, I just don't want to have gasoline hanging around the house, a lawnmower kind of sound going on when I'm running it. I thought about natural gas because we do have natural gas here and there would be an unlimited supply. So there's an advantage to that. But I really just wanted a battery. And so I looked into batteries. What could I buy? I heard about the Tesla Power, power Wall, I think they called it. But I started investigating and I found this Echo Flow battery that I have pictured here. And it was a 3600 watt and that sounded pretty good. And it was 3000 bucks, give or take. And that sounded like okay. But as I continued to investigate, I found another one for 4900 let's say 5000 bucks. So for the $5,000, you get 7,200 watts, which is, on, which is double the amount of wattage, for an extra $2,217. This is the Delta Pro Ultra. It's a new system. It's a step up. It's expandable. I felt like this would be the right item to buy. All right, so our Echo Flow Delta Pro Ultra has been delivered. I ordered this from Lowe's literally only two days ago. It was just delivered by FedEx, and now I got to deliver it from here into the house. And that's going to be quite a trick. I've got the hand truck. I've got my back braces on. Let's go right. for it. So I got it on the hand truck, you know, with the handle in the hand truck to go as a four wheeler. And I'll see how that works versus just wheeling it in on two. All right. So I got it on the hand truck. I got it on the four wheels. And so this is how it looks. I'm just going to show it because I'm going to take it down the hallway, got to have plenty of space and get it into the back room where I'm going to disassemble it or assemble it. All right, so I got it in here. This is the inverter. So this goes on top. So I'm first going to take this box off the trolley. Then I'm going to, going to, going to go back and get the battery, bring that in. And I'll probably unwrap that right. first. Okay, we've got this thing assembled, which is no small feat. For a little guy with big hands. Anyway, <laughs> uh, I was able to brace it up against the wall. I was able to lift and push it into place. It kind of locks in place, which is great. And as far as I'm concerned, that coaster with the wheels is very sturdy and seems to do a great job. Now, the deal is you need to have this lined up correctly to have your battery ports on the same side. This, this little lock bracket here, this plug basically, assembly goes from one plug to the other. That's what feeds uh, the one unit to the next unit. Without that, it's not going to turn on. So make sure that's lined up and then you're good to go. I plugged it in. Now my Chevy Chase All moment. Right, so now my Chevy Chase moment. I got it plugged into my regular wall unit. It is plugged in. Now, how do we get it to go? Well, one of these is an on button. Well, look at there, here it comes. We're up to 30% already. Fantastic. I'm getting a call from Chip. I think I will take a break and let this thing charge itself up a little bit. Hallelujah, praise the Lord, we made it. We did it all by our little selves. All right, we'll see you later. later. Okay, I've been learning as I go. And basically, I just want to power it in. I just want to plug it in, power it up. You see, I'm up to 46% already. It's been about maybe an hour or less, been on the phone with a friend. And uh, so then you want to, you know, use it to charge up your devices, of course. So what I learned here is you have to push 
AC, and then that will put out your AC power. I don't know what this is about, but anyway, now that my AC power is on, I can plug in all of my, just like your home, I can plug in various devices or, you know, appliances into my plug-in strip. And then I have the USB outlet, which happens to be DC. So I push that on and now, Hopefully my phone will light up. There you go. So in other words, I learn as I go, like I said, and you're having to struggle with me, but this is fantastic. Uh, it's very heavy. The hardest part of putting this in, if you're a do-it-yourselfer, is the weight of it. I'm one little guy, and I got it in by myself. I got it plugged in. I got it, you know, leveled up, and now I got my dog. I wish I could level him up, but the point is that it's doable, but I would recommend, you know, two guys doing it. Zeke, please. Okay, you're the star of the show. Um, anyway, it works. Voila, it works. And obviously, this is just a start. But eventually, if I did have a power outage, I'd want to plug in my refrigerator and my coffee maker and various things of that nature. But it works. It's a good deal. And we'll talk to you later. Well, I took a little nap, so I don't know exactly when it hit 100%. Wow, look at that, 99. But anyway, we're fully charged. Everything that was plugged in here is fully charged, so I'm loving it. And I'll be <clears throat> doing more YouTubes about it as I learn more and look up more things. And we'll talk to you soon. Okay, so a few things I learned along the way. If you're a do-it-yourselfer and you just want to get a home backup system, uh, that's what I decided to do. Uh, the things you have to think about, well, where am I going to put it? It's a plug and play. You can put it where you want, and then you can just turn it on and start using it. It is heavy, so keep that in mind. But I just put it near a wall outlet in a room, you know, where there was space. And now, if the power goes out tonight, for example, I will have to run power cords from my refrigerator or whatever I do need. If I can't carry it over to it, I'd have to run a, an extension cord from the device or from the appliance to the device. Uh, you put the caster wheels on first. You build the little platform, then you get the unit on that platform. Once you do that, all the heavy lifting is over. So that's a good deal. The inverter, this is two big parts. One is the inverter where you plug in and plug out and all the computer uh, issues are built into that system or built into that box. That weighs about 75 pounds. The battery itself is the bottom part, and that's expandable up to five batteries. So if, if my needs increase or once I like this and I'm using it, if I want to buy another battery or two or three batteries, I can certainly do that. So that's something I had in mind when I bought it. But this thing comes with its own power cord, so you can plug it right into your wall and start charging it. Then you can start using it to charge your phone and your iPad or what have you. I'm going to bring my Wi-Fi uh, T-Mobile device downstairs. I want to check that because in case there is a power outage, that's one of the things I want is Wi-Fi. All right. So essentially, uh, the Ultra, to me, was the way to go. I'm glad I got it. If you guys are thinking about it, you know, check it out. Do your own research. Make your own decisions. But so far, so good. And we'll see you next time. So I do have a couple of thoughts in closing. I bought this essentially to weather the storm, so to speak, to last me a few hours, possibly in the future, a few days, you don't know. But the main thing there is it is expandable. So if I needed to increase the duration, I could buy new batteries and just add them to the stack and I would be good to go for an extended period of time. The other aspect is I can charge this using solar panels. So I might do that in the future. If I were to map it into the house system, I would call an electrician. It's not that big a deal, but it's something that an electrician would have to do. So I'll some, find somebody certified to do that. And uh, beyond that, uh, I'm just glad I got it. I feel better now. 
and uh, look forward to the next storm. That's the irony. Now I'm kind of hoping that the power goes out just to test it out. All right, well, thanks again. Take care of yourself. Enjoy yourself. And uh, may your future be sunny and bright. So long.